What's next would be a scenario for the transition from the RNA world to a DNA world. This is basically a separation of information storage from the expression or processing of that information to make the working molecules of life. This cartoon summarizes the transition from an RNA world to a DNA world. While there's not really any experimental basis for this transition yet, we might speculate that viruses played a role. When RNA viruses inject their RNA into infected cells, their RNA is either directly translated into viral proteins, or depending on the virus, may first be replicated by RNA replicases before the RNA is translated. If retroviruses that reverse transcribe their RNA into DNA evolved from such RNA viruses, this may have played a role in the transition from an RNA world to a DNA world. Of course, since all existing cells replicate and store genetic information in DNA and express the genetic information as messenger RNA, and because all cells translate genetic information in mRNAs into polypeptides, the pathway we refer to as the central dogma must have been in place by the time LUCA appeared.